Welcome friends, another how to make here at Flower Factor. Uh, we're going to start off with a nice wire, just a metal wire. It's about two and a half millimeters thick. Uh, we're going to cover it with a wool. We're going to cover a piece of it with wool. And of course we can do this with the drill. But in this case I'm just going to do it by hand. Because it's a very thin wire and by hand you can do it also pretty quick. So this will be a technique you can use for bridal design and it's fun, it's easy and it will last a long time, longer than you would expect. Of course it depends a little bit on the temperature Gonna make it a little bit thicker part here. And I will explain later why we do that. And then we're going back. Like this. I make a little loop. And I just pull it really tight. You can do that two times. And then basically this is a start. Then we have a nice oyster shell. I made it a little bit smaller. So I cut it just with a scissor. And we're going to place, place it on like this. And now we know why this is a bit thicker. Because I need a stop here. And we're going to use some nice carnations, the ounces, and I'm going to peel off the bottom part. So I'm going to peel off the green cap and I'm going to cut it really short, but I'm going to leave the part on. And of course, some would say you're ruining the flower. I always say but I'm going to show the flower in a new way. So sometimes it can be good to maybe demolish the flower a little bit because you can show another aspect of the flower. And again, this is not a very difficult technique, <coughs> but it's a technique that will give you a result pretty quick. So that's interesting. And of course it's nice to work a long time on designs, on your arrangements, bouquets, whatever you make. But we have to also keep in mind that as a florist we need to earn money. And if we're spending two or three hours on a piece of work, what is then the value of that work? In labor, I mean. So it's also good to practice techniques and, and designs that you can create in a pretty quick way. So I'm just going on with some more Leontes. And again, these movies are not to show you the perfect design. It's just to show you a technique. It's just to show and maybe inspire you to try new things and next to these movies we will do the tutorial movies and those will be more maybe a little bit longer and more finished work all made with our beautiful products from, uh, from the growers, the flower factor growers because we should not forget that the reason that we're doing this, I'm doing this, and soon more designers will do this, uh, our ambassadors, is purely uh, possible because of the growers. The growers and our partners make it possible uh, to bring all these things. So for me that's, that's really interesting and I'm really proud of that because then we can connect the different factors in the flower industry. So, if we see it like this, already it's cool. You can take off 
the middle part. But you can leave it on also. But oh, even that happens. I normally would say, oh, you start over again and make another movie. No, it's all about creating and things happen. I mean, things like this happen in the shop and they happen here too. So, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin these nice Deontas on. So basically I'm threading the flowers and I'm just threading them of course in the center of the flower. And if we do this really carefully and we don't damage the flower more than we already did, the leaves will be fixed to the flower and we can easily create a very cool design. You see already the effect. And we're talking about 10, 11 Deontes flowers. So it's not a lot of flowers basically to create something that has a lot of effect. And that's for me again interesting. And we do the last one. the last one is always struggling a little bit. Now how cool is that? I mean I like it. I can get really enthusiastic about things like this. We take another oyster shell again we make a little hole in it in the middle and I'm going to slide it on because I need a stop here too. I'm going to cut off the end that I don't need. And then I'm going to fold it, and of course I have to be careful, fold it in an angle, ah, like this. Again, cutting away what's too long, so we have a nice angle in the, in the wire. Then I'm basically just giving it a little bit of hot glue, and of course it should work if the glue gun is working. I'm going to tell you. We can glue it later. Basically I'm going to put some glue here and then I'm going to use this reindeer moss and just put it on like this. Then we seal it off. It's nice finished off. And basically we have a nice design already. Then we take a tube and of course it's great to create a nice handle. So we're using the tube to make a nice bend and this could be a bridal design. Of course we can add some pins and then you have to make sure that when you pin them you really pin them in the heart of the flower And you can imagine if we have a lot of pins and maybe some strings hanging down that this could be a cool start of a design. It can be a bridal design. But of course if we make a long shape and we place it on a table, it could be a table design. So this is basically the how to make for this time. Um, I hope you keep enjoying. Keep enjoying creating with a smile and well keep inspiring yourself and others and I hope to see you next time here at Flower Factor. So thanks for your attention, have a great day, thank you.